Yo, how is it going Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Which bear do you expect to take the biggest jump in 2020? And who are some bears that had down years in 2019 that need to improve in 2020? We're going to be answering these questions and many more in episode 29 of Uncut. Welcome back to the show, guys. I would like to say, I would almost guarantee an Uncut like every day, Like I, but at some point we're going to run out of topics. But you guys have been loving this series, so we're going to keep pumping them out. Once again, we're trying to hit 1.5k subs on YouTube this week. Do us a favor, like and subscribe. Click the bell for more notifications whenever we post. We record these late at night. It's currently 11.38 p.m. at night, but that doesn't stop us at all. I am your host, Chris Malpe, and today I am joined with my co-host, Jalen McClinton. It's it's a little bit of a better time for Jalen. You know, 9.38 over in Arizona on a Monday night. You guys are going to be seeing this on Tuesday morning, but Jalen, how's it going? How's your day been? I'm going to say this has been a long day. been uh, uh, making catching up on a lot of homework that I missed, so that's basically what I've been doing all day. The academic year almost over for everyone, which is very exciting for us here at Bear Down because I basically, when when the summer starts, you know, that's when we're going to be grinding. Hopefully we can head out to training camp and stuff like that, but let's get right into it. Jalen, there's no better st- spot to start than here. You know, obviously we're going to talk about some players later that need to improve that had down years in 2019, but, but you want to start on a positive note. And there's a lot of players on this team that arguably are set to make big jumps in 2020. I'm going to ask you first, which bear do you think is set to take the biggest jump in 2020? Um, I, I have two, but I'm going to just move, mainly go into detail. Uh, I think David Montgomery is definitely going to jump. But the player that I'm going to talk about right uh, today is Anthony Miller. Um, Anthony Miller had a very up and down season last year. Um, in the first couple weeks, he wasn't that – or in the first couple – Uh, In the first eight games of the season, he wasn't very good at all. You know, he wasn't producing that lot. And then in the second half is when he really broke out. At the end of the season, he had 656 yards, uh, 52 receptions, a a long of a 35, and two touchdowns. Um, From his rookie season, his touchdowns did go up. I mean, they'll go down, excuse me. But he had more receptions, more yards. And stuff like that. Uh, Anthony Miller is definitely going to is definitely going to be a good receiver for us. He's our number two. Um, the only main problem that I I'm scared about is his shoulder injuries. He's got injured his he's injured his shoulder the you know the first two years he's been here with us and he injured his shoulder on the last at the last game of the season, and he's you know requires surgery and stuff like that. But if he can stay healthy and uh, stay consistent, because that's the main thing with him is consistency, then I can definitely see him taking a big jump in 2020. Anthony Miller did undergo shoulder surgery for the second time. Uh, In January, you know, he dislocated his shoulder multiple times during that 2018 season. Someone that actually reminds me of Jalen Johnson where he plays through the pain sometime. But if he can really stay healthy, Anthony Miller, definitely someone who could make a big jump in 2020. An interesting prospect you brought up that I want to talk about is David Montgomery, and he's going to be my player that I think will take the biggest jump in 2020. You know, I think this line isn't great by any means, but I think it'll be formidable in 2020. Uh, if you look at Montgomery's stats from his rookie year, 889 rushing yards and six touchdowns. Also in the receiving game, 25 catches for 185 yards and one touchdown. That adds up to 1,074 total yards uh, from scrimmage behind an offensive line that was not that great. Um, I expect, once again, the offensive line isn't going to be incredible this year. I don't think it'll be ranked 29th, though. You know, He catches 71% of passes thrown his way. Uh, He had 3.7 yards per carry. I expect those numbers to both go up. Uh, He had 55 yards per game, uh, which which is pretty solid in 2019. Uh, Once again, the player I expect to be better in 2020, just behind a better line. I think they look to get him the ball more in the passing game. I think overall, 2020 is going to be very much so an up year for David Montgomery. Next, we're going to be breaking down three players that that we both think underperformed in 2019 and need to show better years in 2020, not only if they want to stay on the team, but if they want to have formidable roles. Jalen, I'm going to start with you. Name off one of your players that you think definitely needs to show improvement in 2020. Now, if you watch our podcast, you know I'm probably the biggest Trubisky fan on, on our podcast right now. And But Mitchell has, has to improve last, from last year. Uh, last year was other than his rookie season, I wouldn't count that as, as a bad year, but was his worst year in the league. Um, his touchdowns went down by seven. His interceptions did go down, 
but uh, it was that was only uh, that was only down by two, uh, which is okay. But when the t- with the touchdowns going down, that's that's not really that's not really good. Uh, his completion percentage went down too. His yards went down, and that was in more games than last season. He played 15 games last year, and in 2018 he played 14 games. Um, we brought in Nick Foles for competition. Um, some people think Nick Foles is is the starter, no doubt, uh, without any competition. Like he's gonna come in here and, and beat Mitch. But if Mitch if Mitch wants to be the starting quarterback that I know he can, he has to play better. Um, he has to uh, know how, like he know how to consistent. He has to play consistent. Um, know how to read a defense. His footwork can be off sometimes. Um, he, he's great out the pocket, and if we can get 2018 Mitch back when he was. He, Played out the pocket when the when the uh, when the play broke down, and I led to a lot of first downs and a couple of touchdowns here and there. Then then I can definitely see him being our our future quarterback. But it's all about consistently when it comes to the quarterback position. Mitchell Trubisky, seventeen touchdowns, ten interceptions there in twenty nineteen. The Bears bringing in Nick Foles for competition. That's a topic for another day. Should be very interesting. My first player that had a down year in twenty nineteen that I think needs to improve is Buster Screen at the nickel corner. Not only does he have players like Duke Shelley, possibly Steven Denmark, and, and most recently Kendall Vildor knocking at his doorstep, but I expected him to improve a lot more than he did uh, there in 2019 um, in a good secondary. You know, uh, 48 tackles for him, a tackle for a loss, two quarterback hits. He was blitzed a little bit, but only four games started. I didn't even know that he only started four games. Uh, had five passes defended and two forced fumbles there. Uh, you know, he's been in the league since 2011, started off with the Cleveland Browns. He's going on 31 years old. Uh, it, it's really interesting. You know, he's played outside. He's played in the nickel. Um, it, and I just I just don't know. I, I really think he needs to improve. If not, there's going to be players that will be there and that will most definitely be ready to take his spot, or at least some young guys will be there and definitely competing with Buster Screen. I'm not saying he was a liability in, uh, in 20, 2019, you know, teams threw at him a decent bit, but just in general in 2020, you know, the secondary is looking to improve with Deshaun Gibson and Jalen Johnson. So I think teams are going to start targeting screen more in 2020, his second year in Chicago, and I believe it'll be his ninth, 10th year in the league. Just needs to show improvement overall. Jalen, you've got two more. You rattled off one right there with Trubisky. Who's your next bear that you think had a down year in 2019 that definitely needs to show improvement in 2020? My next bear that, that needs to improve is Tariq Cohen. Um, this is the last year of, it, of his rookie contract. Um, and since he wasn't a first-round pick, he doesn't have a fifth-year option. So if we don't resign him after this year, then he's going to be a free agent in t- the 2021 offseason. Um, his rushing yards have went down. Uh, he had, he had This is the least amount of rushing yards he has since he's been in the league. Um, his carries went down as well. His receiving yards, um, he's, he's looked, he's like more of a, I wouldn't call him a running back. He, he's a gadget player on our offense. And with him last year having over 725, or not, excuse me, 2018 had over 700 yards as a running back. Um, he, that went down to 400 yards last season. I feel like Nagy just completely forgot how to use him in 2018. I feel like that was when Nagy used him best. You know, he used him as a receiver, running back. And he, uh, he was still seeing um, snaps at, Punt returner, where he was an All Pro last season, or excuse me, in 2018 in that season, um, like like I don't know what happened this year. Uh, he wasn't getting as many carries, and when he did get carries, this was not carries that were meant for a person who's five six and like a buck ninety. He was getting inside zones when he should be getting half back tosses and stuff like that. So, um, if he wants to be on this team in 2021, he has to improve. Nagy has to use him, has to use him better, and has to use him more where he's a versatile player and not uh, trying to use him as a, a, a three-down back. So, yeah. Tariq Cohen in 2018 was selected to the Pro Bowl and was also a first-team All-Pro player. I'm going to agree with you on this one. Tariq Cohen's also a player I had there. You know, his catch percentage went down. His yards per target almost cut in half. His yards for scrimmage in 2018 was at 1,169. Went down 500 yards that's crazy uh, in a year, and that's that's really unfortunate. You know, I think defenses started to figure out Cohen. Uh, his rushing attempts not only went down, his yards were basically cut in half, and he caught eight more passes and lost almost 300 receiving yards. One more thing to mention, his drop catch percentage in 2018, that Pro Bowl year was 1%, went up to 8.7% in 
in 2019, uh, had nine drops per pro football reference. You know, it, 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 Jalen mentioned it. I mean, it's a contract year for him. The Bears have brought in players that can replace him on special teams. You know, he is a great player on special teams as well. But the Bears now have Trevor Davis, Cordero Patterson, someone who can see more time on special teams because of how special he is. Ted Ginn Jr. There's players that can come in and take his spot. Cohen's really going to have to step up to the plate in 2020. And he's really going to have to have a good year because I think his team's going to use his 2018 season as leverage to get him some more money in the contract. But we saw how poor of a year he had in 2019, which was really a year that we, we expected him to continue to, to become a really good back in Chicago in. And it just wasn't that great at all. You know, if we look at his punt returns, uh, he had the same amount of punt returns in 2019, went down almost 100 yards. Uh, it, just in general, it was a down year for Cohen in 2019. Not something at all that we were hoping to see, and he's definitely a player that needs to improve there in 2020, guys. I would like to say before I pass it on to Jalen for his third and final player, do us a favor, go down in the comments, comment some players you guys think need to improve in 2020 if they want to stay on the Bears following this upcoming season. Jalen, we've got one more player to rattle off. I'm going to start with you. Which player most definitely needs to show improvement in 2020? Um... I'm going with Adam Shaheen. Can you hear me? Yeah, Adam Shaheen. Okay. Yeah, I'm going with Adam Shaheen. Um, that might be a little controversial. Um, a lot of people don't think he's going to make the roster or even make it to training camp. And I, I don't blame you at all. Um, for a person who took over George Kittle, who's one of the best tight ends in the league, and even John Lewis Smith, uh, the tight end for the uh, Tennessee Titans, who's been very productive since he's been in the league. Um, Adam Shaheen hasn't been great since his rookie season. He had his most amount of yards uh, in 2017, where he had 12 receptions, 127 yards, and three touchdowns. Um, his receptions had went down, his yards had went down, um, and he had he didn't have any touchdowns at all last season. Yes, he's been hurt, which is uh, really big because you know the best ability is availability, and he hasn't really done that since he's since he's been in the league. Um, if he makes the team, he has to improve if he even wants to be on the NFL team in 2021. Um, you know, stay healthy. Uh, yeah. Try to catch, try to catch, try to catch a couple, t uh, touchdown passes. You know, he's six, seven, six, six, he's a former basketball player. And, and that's what we, I'm pretty sure what Pace brought him in to do was, was be a, a red zone threat. And he hasn't really done that since he's been in the league. Absolutely agreed. I want to ask you this, just, just a simple yes or no question. Do you think that Shaheen mm -hmm. makes the roster? No. Yeah, I don't think he does either. So my third and final player that needs to improve 100,000%, I think we can all agree on this, in 2020, for the sake of the team, is going to be Charles Leno. He played 1,066 offensive snaps in 2019, finished with the fifth most penalties in the league with 13, and also had five sacks allowed. You know, if we break down his penalties, he had six holding, three ball start, and one... Uh, offside penalty. For some reason, PFF and, and Pro Football Reference are giving me different numbers. 12, 13 penalties. Either way, it's unacceptable, you know. You look at him in 2018. Charles Leno made the Pro Bowl in 2018, had zero penalties. I'm not so sure how his sacks allowed went uh, there in 2018, but, but obviously a much better year, and we really know that he can be a good tackle. And I'm not scared about saying that. You know, he showed that he can do it in 2018, and I'm under full belief that he can return to that form there in 2020. Um, I just think he, he overall it can't get much worse, and if it does get much worse, he, he won't be seeing the field for long, and he might not be a bear for much longer. So those are our players that we think need to improve. We also broke down players that we think are going to make the biggest jump in 2020. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode 29 of Bear Down on Cut. Once again, do us a favor, smash the like on this video, subscribe, click the bell for more notifications when we post. If you want more content from us, head over to our website, BearDown.com. You can find columns, blogs, articles, whatever you want to call them on there from all of our hardworking crew. You can find the links to our social media fan pages on Instagram down in the description, and you can also follow the podcast on Instagram and Twitter. We're trying to hit 1,500 subs this week. It's still looking unlikely, but that being said, it's not going to stop us from grinding. Jalen McClinton, it's been a pleasure to join you tonight. Any last words? Uh, stay safe. Um, I know. Uh, enjoy, enjoy the rest of you guys this week and uh, bear down. Yes, sir. Last week of school for me, and then I'm going to get on the grind here on Bear Down. Uh, it's going to be a fun summer, and I'm really looking forward to it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, Bears fans, do me a favor. Stay safe. Continue to flatten down the curve. And as always, Bear Down. Peace.